Hey, Chris Lipe here with why you get hoarse when you're singing, whether it's after a long period of time or whether you can't seem to sing very long without getting hoarse and what you can do to not get hoarse. And if you'd like more insights into your own voice and want help unpacking what it can really do so you can make all sorts of crazy sounds while not hurting your voice, click the link below and join my free voice course. What is hurting in my voice when it's tired or, or given too much energy? What, what is that? Well, the first thing that we need to realize is that our vocal cords have no pain receptors on them which is not so great of a thing for people who abuse their voices. The warning sign that you're overusing your voice is uh, a mucus buildup and hoarseness. The other things that are hurting around it are the tissues surrounding your vocal cords. While there are all sorts of things that can cause hoarseness, an excessive buildup of mucus, um, an actual disorder or disease, that causes poor cord closure. The primary reason that singers get hoarse quickly is due to the swelling on the vocal cords. And this swelling is brought out or brought upon by using too much air. If you're getting hoarse, simply put, you're using too much air, unless there are other factors. And if you feel like there might be, Definitely go see a ear, nose, and throat specialist and get yourself checked out. But the odds are it's because you don't know how to use your air properly. You see, most singers have this sort of one volume approach that they use to get around and sing. They're always singing like this because they're trying to hit notes, trying to hit notes all over the place. And they get in this mode where they're focused so much on hitting the pitch or getting through the song that they're going hard on their chords. It doesn't even mean they're using distortion. In fact, properly placed and properly executed distortion actually gives your primary vocal cords a bit of a break. So hoarseness is not caused by singing aggressively. It's caused by moving too much air through your primary cords. You don't have to be loud all the time to be expressive and be dirty and, and aggressive. So I want to give you a simple little exercise based around a real world singing scenario that is going to help you dial in your airflow and be extra attentive to it so that you don't give yourself too much air. The key to moderating air is a balance between your support and your airflow moderation or compression. If I sing this phrase, if you feel you will heal sing it over a g if you feel you will heal feel heal now i can really push my voice and just not really be conscious of how much air i'm moving if you feel you will heal after a while, you get this sort of like, sort of Neanderthal sort of sound out of your voice. Um, that's going to, you, you've already kind of passed the point of no return if you're there. But stick with me here. If, if, on the if, if, we're gonna, we're gonna place it a little more nasally in our, uh, in our, in our nasal passage. And we're going to ignore the fact that it sounds nasal. Nasal is actually good and the key to unlocking all sorts of things about your voice. If, 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 and then we're gonna, we're gonna hold back air at the same time we're being nasal. If, just for if, if, and we're gonna kind of moan, if, 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 notice I'm holding back all the air and then I'm letting it eek through on that, on that note. If, 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 and there might be a little rasp that happens. That's okay. That's good. It's actually a precursor to lots of other great sounds. If, if, okay. So be real nasal on if. 
And then, with that same sort of approach, if you, if you feel teeter on holding back too much air so that you can't create the pitch. If you feel, if you feel, feel it in your nose. If you feel, you will heal. If you feel, you will heal. If you feel, you will heal. Now, this doesn't sound very good. It almost sounds like you're being an old man, a nasally old man. If you feel, you will heal. Embrace the nasally old man. If you feel, you will heal. If you feel, you will heal. If you feel, you will heal. Take it to that extreme. And then gradually start backing it off with what you normally used to do. This nasally old man, if you feel, is a way to start to learn to moderate your air above your larynx, above your voice box, so that you save your voice in real singing situations. We don't want to be this extreme, but by practicing engaging this over real singing, if you feel and then dialing it back, you are going to be able to get a great tone. You're going to be able to explore your range and dynamically moderate your air for both tone and longevity. Here's me going to different extremes and then dialing it in for a pretty cool sound. Yeah. If you feel... That's the vanilla um, uh, kind of Neanderthal sort of... Ah, if you feel always open, you will heal. If you feel, you will heal. Okay. I'm going to back it off now. And I'm going to become the nasally old man. If you feel, you will heal. If you feel, you will heal. Let me back, start backing things off. If you feel, you will heal. still pretty nasal but you can hear a big difference between this and this starting to sound more musical if you feel you will heal let's try to come up with another balance i'm going to use less nasality i'm going to start placing it a bit more through my nose although i'm not going to plug my nasal passage and i'm going to let more air through so, yeah, yeah. If you feel, you will heal. If you feel, you will heal. If you feel, you will heal. Invoking middle ground, explore the extremes, and then invoke middle ground with this sensation. If you feel, you will heal. If you feel, you will heal. If you feel, 
Well, now, you might be asking, why am I using E so much? This type of approach will actually make it easier for you to sing this sort of vowel. But don't be afraid to play with opening it up. If you feel, if you feel, you will heal. That's okay. Keep working those extremes. If you feel, you will heal. 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 to moderate your airflow in the context of the notes and the vowels that you are singing is the key to preserving your voice. You won't go hoarse. You'll develop all sorts of neat sounds and timbres that you never knew you had. And you'll be able to create better vowel sounds as well. Embrace the nasal, embrace the nasal old man. Yeah and see what happens with your own voice. Again, if you'd like more tips like this, click the link below and join my free vocal course. Leave me comments in the area below and let me know what you thought of this lesson and if you have any other questions after you've watched the lesson. We'll see you for more.